Talking about my favorite show, The 100. This is a review for The 100, Season 5, Episode 4, entitled Pandora's Box. So another good episode tonight. Very simple. Uh, I'll just break down the plot. So in the bunker, uh, Kane, he is uh, facing Kryle by combat with uh, three other grounders for an offense. Uh, apparently some medicine was stolen and they think Kane did it, even though it was actually Abby. And uh, something that surprised me is I thought that, all right, so they set up the fight scene. I thought they were going to do a flashback. We would see Abby stealing the medicine and why Kane took the rap for her. Uh, that was not the case. They just went right into the fight and uh, Kane wins it. Uh, two of the grounders get killed off by one, by another grounder, and then it's just Kane and that guy. Kane kills that guy. And you think, okay, well, Kane's out of hot water, but Octavia. Decides, you know what? That's not good enough. You gotta fight again tomorrow. Which uh, sets up this dilemma where it's like, okay, Kane, are you gonna tell the truth? Because Abby wants him to do it. Octavia pretty much puts it together that uh, Kane was not the one who took the medicine, but Kane decides he's gonna sacrifice himself for the better good and not even fight. I, I think we've I've seen this before in uh, TV where they have some sort of society where dueling and fights to the death are oh so important and someone decides they're going to change society by getting into the fight but not fighting and somehow this always works and this who knew this was going to be the case with Kane because he gets in there and he isn't fighting the other grounder and I did have one question it's like well what did this other guy do because it, it kind of seems like they just selected him at random instead of him actually being uh, accused of a crime once again, proving that Octavia's um, bread and circus attitude towards society really wasn't working that much because the grounders love to fight, so they just keep committing uh, offenses against one crew just so they can get in that pit. But like I said, they don't uh, talk about that. Kane just stands there, takes a few cuts. This pisses Octavia. She stops the fight to get down there and tell him, Kane, you the fighter, you're going to die. Kane's like, well, that's what gotta we gotta do to change society blah 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 this becomes irrelevant as the uh, ceiling gives way breaking apart and uh, <laughs> giant hole comes comes out of it turns out it's Bellamy and Clark along with the prisoners they've uh, breaking the bunker open to help save everyone so we'll uh, <laughs> jump back with that story uh, basically Bellamy makes a deal with the prisoners Saying, hey, we won't kill all your people on the ship if you help break open this bunker and save our other people. The prisoners' go, uh, crew goes along with this, even though um, Charmaine says to uh, Shaw, hey, stay on that goddamn computer and see if you can override what they're doing up there on our ship and free our people. So uh, <laughs> they actually try that, even though <laughs> Raven is blocking them. They can't uh, open the pods. <laughs> Well, what they can do is open the uh, airlocks and sort of flush Murphy and Raven out. And when Murphy and Raven realize this is happening, they decide to open the pot. <laughs> Excuse me. So Charmaine decides not to kill them. Of course, this means that all the prisoners are now awake and that uh, Raven and Murphy are stuck up there on the ship with them. And then Charmaine, after you know they freed everyone from the bunker, they decide that they want to take Abby, the doctor, for some reason. Uh, they didn't specify, you know, it's the mystery, what exactly do they need the doctor for? I mean, they need a doctor to keep them alive, but it seems like there's more to it than that. It's just not, well, you know, we always need a doctor. We need a doctor really, really bad. So that that, that could be interesting. What is this cure? What is, what is Charmaine and, and uh, Paxton? What do they need uh, Abby for? And uh, Abby... And Kane go along with uh, Charmaine because Charmaine and her guys, they pull out their big guns, threaten everyone. At one point, one of the prisoners decides to take a shot at Octavia, but some nameless grounder jumps in between her and gets himself killed off. And we see their guns are pretty effective. They just turns this poor bastard inside out. They take off with Kane and Marcus, and they plan on blowing up the city, but Raven still has the ships locked and whatnot. So that's where it leads, where, you know, uh, uh, Kane, Abby, 
Murphy and Raven had all been captured by the prisoners. And on the ground, Octavia and all of her people wanted to go to war and fight over that valley. Like I said, it was a very simple episode, but it was a decent episode. I, I enjoyed it. I, they didn't waste any time getting those people out of the bunker. Um, but I do kind of wonder, um, like, why they, you know, that we only got the one idea of what happened down the bunker with, you know, the fights to the death. They were there for six years. Anything else happen? Uh, they established that there's uh, 814 people came out of the bunker, meaning at, the, at least over the course of uh, three years, they lost 386 people. It might be higher because they might have had some births that I would have added to the total of people who survived, but that wouldn't mean that other people still died, but at least 386 people died over six years, and Bellamy gives uh, Octavia this look when he hears it. It's like, well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You didn't think people would die down there? One, one thing that gets me is, you know, they just sort of, everyone comes out of the bunker into the sunlight like it's nothing. I mean, they're excited and whatnot, but I'm like, you know, they haven't, their bodies haven't been uh, getting sunlight for six years. I don't think they'll explain this. I guess they were taking vitamin C pills, but it's like, when when did there be some health concerns there? <laughs> but no, they're just kind of, Doop doop doop, moving along out outside. Like, I I just wondered about that because it, it, yeah. You know, well, I guess it's just a science fiction show. We we'll just leave it at that. Uh, not much really else happened tonight except uh, Rick, they did set up another mystery. Uh, the ship that they have is called the El Gilgalus Four, and Raven was looking in the records. She could see what happened to the other three. Two she can find out about, but there's a secret third one. What's going on there? So, another mystery. I wonder if that means that they're going to be introducing even more people this season or next season to keep things going. And we'll just have to see. Like I said, simple episode. I enjoyed it.